Okay, let's go through an example of a problem involving the times interest earned ratio. The problem appears in the light gray in front of you. The Pickett Corporation has 500000 of debt outstanding, and it pays an interest rate of 10% annually. Its annual sales are $2 million, its tax rate is 30%, and its net profit margin on sales is 5%. And then there's another piece of information. It states that if the company does not maintain a times interest earned ratio of at least 5, its bank will refuse to renew the loan and bankruptcy will result. And the problem is asking you to to uh, come up with the times interest earned ratio. Now let me say it's not unusual for banks to have loan covenants provision, loan covenant provisions, and one of those provisions uh, may be a times interest earned uh, floor that the company must stay above uh, to, to remain out of default on the terms of the loan. Okay, well to solve this problem, let's calculate the interest charges first. Uh, the interest charges are going to be equal to the 500,000 of debt. Uh, did I get that right? Uh, that looks like 500,000 times a 10% rate. So the interest charges are 50,000. Uh, next we know that a net income is equal to sales times the net profit on sales. Rather than type this, let me uh, just copy it from off to the side. Let me do a little bit of shrinking here so we can get, you can all see this. And um, um, we'll calculate by taking the $2 million of sales. Hopefully I've got the right number of decimal places or number of zeros. 2 million times a 5% and we come up with 100,000. Okay, then we, we know that the tax rate is 30%, so let's calculate pre-tax income. Now, you could, you could actually do the calculation of pre-tax uh, minus the tax to come up with net income, and once you invert it, you will come up with net income is equal to, uh, uh, or pre-tax income is equal to net income divided by 1 minus the tax rate. So to come up with that, we'll take the net income we've already calculated, divided by 1 minus the 30% average tax rate, and we come up with $142,857. Next, we want to calculate EBIT, which uh, it stands for earnings before interest and taxes. We've already calculated the earnings before taxes, so how do we calculate the interest? Simply add it. We've got the, uh, the earnings before taxes and add in the interest charges, and now we know what EBIT is. And now we can rely on the formula appearing in the darker brown box to calculate times interest earned. So times interest earned would be equal to EBIT divided by the interest charge, and we have those numbers already calculated, and the end result is we're at a 3.86 times interest earned, and that solves our problem. Oh, let me slide this down in case you can't see that. I realize this uh, may be sliding off of your screen a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. You should be able to see that fine now. Thanks, everyone.